morning guys well it won't be morning for you right now probably when you're watching this but um finally i am gonna show you all gonna have to bend down um my skincare slash fake tan routine um so yeah let's get on to it hey um so i think the main questions that i always have is about how i put fake tan on my face so i'm just gonna go through like the whole thing everything that i do so i recently have got this face cleanser so it comes with three brushes one super soft brush which is just like oh my god it's a dream it's so soft um it comes with this one which is a bit tougher which i think they recommend that you only do like three times a week uh you can see that i've been using that because it's but stained from my makeup but um well actually it's not really but it's coming up like that on the camera for some reason anyway my favorite one is this like plasticky one which i've got on there now um this is another like everyday one oh bend out so annoying um so the cleanser that i've been loving the most at the moment is this um s-bar e-spar i'm actually not 100 percent how you're supposed to say that um it's the optimal skin pro cleanser three in one exfoliator and mask um and it's just so like moisturizing and it's like melts on your face and oh my god i love it so i'm gonna wet the top of this a little bit and then place a little bit of cleanser on like so and then just get cleansing Ooh. Oh my god, it feels so nice on your chin. So yeah, the reason I'm doing this is to get a really nice smooth service for um, the face drops, the fake tan. I always like to go with my eyebrows as well because I always seem to get um, fake tan stuck in them, so that really like gets it off. Oh, it literally feels so good. It feels so clean. So it's got like two settings. You press the button once and it goes slow, like this. Then you press it twice. It goes fast. Oh my god, I actually can't believe what's come off of this because I didn't wear makeup yesterday and I've had a shower this morning and there's still like little bits, I don't know if you can see, little bits of like brown makeup coming off on those bristles. Why? I'm doing my neck as well. Okay, that feels great. I feel so clean. Right, I swap bathrooms because I've got got more space if I do it in here. So I forgot to say, um, with the uh, facial exfoliator that I just showed you, they have very kindly given me a seventy percent off code, which is unreal. Um, well, it's very echoey in here, isn't it? But yeah, you can use that code to um, get yourself a cleanser. Uh, the code is, I'm not 100% sure. I'll put it on the screen though. And yeah, you can get 70% off and yeah, amazing. So I'm going to use this Hydrogenius um, moisturizer. I actually think this is probably the best one I've used um, in terms of like what moisturizer to use with fake tan, I think this is the best because of the gel consistency. I don't know, I just think it works. So yeah, rub that in. And I've been quite generous with it. I've done like three pumps there. Okay. And then I'm going to use the 
Tanologist self tan drops in dark. I can't open it because I've got moisturiser on my hands. There we go. Okay, so it's got this little like, um, what are they called? I can't remember. It's like a little science experiment. Anyway, I've just squeezed some in. <sighs> Squeeze some in, and then I'm going to do some here. So, um, you can see, I've just done like a little line like that. And then I'm going to do the same there. Oh, that's dripping, so I'm going to pop that in. And go down your neck too. Oh, let's put a bit more on there. Okay, I'm going to put the tiniest bit on my forehead. One drop. Grab that in. leave a bit of a gap like there I don't go all the way up to my eyebrows because then it's like a bit of a natural highlight under your brow bone okay so make sure that's all rubbed in and make sure you like bring it down a little bit onto your neck don't do your whole neck because obviously I'm gonna use the other one anyway I'm gonna wash my hands now because I've made that mistake many a time and you don't want to like leave that on your hands because your hands will look the orange. Another one of the most asked questions is how do I get my hands to look good? So I use one of these brushes. This is a, I think it's called like Eco Tools. Um, I've had it for years and like I've always just used it for my fake tan because with places like your hands and feet and like, I don't know, sometimes my face, but I don't need to with the face drops. It's easier to rub it in with a brush. So open this up and you can see I've loved this because Really empty this one. Um, and then just spray it onto the brush. Two, one or two is enough. But I'm gonna start like at my wrist because I don't wanna go straight onto my hand because that'd be too much product on my hand. So you're just gonna start at my wrist and bring it down. Another thing to say is make sure um, your hands are obviously like moisturized. Okay, I'll just do the other hand. And get in those knuckle cracks and in the gaps too. Okay, and then with the rest of my body, I literally just do it as normal, like spray it on. You need to use a mitt. I know sometimes they say that like, you don't need to, but it's dangerous. Oh, right. Obviously, don't put this on, it's just not ideal, but what can a girl do, hey? So, another question that I always, always get is how do I get the tan off? I don't know, I just don't really get on with it. I don't find that it is like as good as just a good old soak in the bath. Like as soon as you think your tan is like getting patchy, you're getting a bit scaly and it's time for it to come off. Um, run a nice hot bath, put some bubbles in and then just, you just need to lie in there for like half an hour. And then I've got this exfoliator and this exfoliator from Saint-Tropez it's basically like a piece of sandpaper and it literally just gets it all off. I'm not going to say it's painless because it's not, but I've never tried anything else that works as well as this. I've probably had this mitt for about five years, so I actually hope they still do it. I think they do. I think I've seen it, but yeah, it's so good. You just get all your tan off and then chuck it in the washing machine and it's good as new. So yeah, I really do recommend that. Um, I don't think there's any other questions that I get regarding fake tan. 
So yeah, I'll just show you exactly what product I've just used. Is the Tanologist Self Pan Water in Dark. And then to go with that, I put Tanologist Self Tan Drops in Dark. And you mix that in with your moisturiser. Um, I just mix it on my face and I find that that works really well. So I'm going to go and do the rest of my body now and to be honest I would normally do this in the evening but um, for the purpose of showing you guys I've done it in the morning and then I'll probably wash it off before I go to bed. And yeah, that's all it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed um, and I'll see you next time.